Major Marvel Phase 4 details of the MCU have been leaked and it is super exciting. How's it going everybody? It's Warren and we have some leaks on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Doctor Strange 2, and a new villain trilogy that is coming to Phase 4. I'll talk about all the leaks in this video, but first be sure to subscribe to my channel. I started a new giveaway and at 400,000 subscribers I'll be picking not one but three winners and each will get to choose one item that they want from the Marvel Legends series collection. And I'll talk more about the giveaway at the end of this video. So, like I said, we have some major Marvel Phase 4 leaks, and this comes from somebody who leaked some things about Avengers Endgame that ended up being 100% correct. These come from Twitter user Roger Wardell. Back in 2018, Roger tweeted out many scenes that ended up being in Avengers Endgame. And now he's back at it, giving us leaks about Marvel's Phase 4. Today he tweeted about what to expect in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and Doctor Strange 2. His tweets read, Rocket's creator is the high evolutionary. Drax is in for a big surprise when he discovers his daughter is alive. Rocket also gets a love interest in the form of Lila. Nebula and Star-Lord will grow into closer friends. It makes perfect sense that Rocket's creator would be the high evolutionary, someone who is known for experimenting on animals, turning them into a higher life form. And in the comics, the high evolutionary does fight with Thor, and Thor is now a part of the Asgardians of the galaxy with Rocket. And it's interesting that they would bring in Lady Lila to be a romantic interest for Rocket. In the comics, Lady Lila is an otter, and she is Rocket's soulmate. So it looks like we're going to be see Rocket Raccoon fall in love in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. It obviously makes sense that Nebula and Star-Lord would become closer friends because they're most likely going to be searching for Gamora together in Guardians Volume 3. And it will definitely be interesting to see how Drax's daughter is actually still alive. And Roger also tweeted about Doctor Strange 2 and the tweet reads, Doctor Strange 2, 1980s Boogaloo. Tilda Swinton is in talks to return as the Ancient One. Jericho Drum and Clea will make their MCU debuts. Clea will likely be portrayed by an Asian actress. Most importantly, the gloves will be back. The introduction of Jericho Drum has actually already been laid in the first Doctor Strange film. Jericho's brother Daniel Drum was actually the keeper of the New York Sanctum in Doctor Strange before he was murdered by Caecilius. And it makes sense to introduce Clea as well because both Clea and Drum have been central characters to the Doctor Strange comics. And it's no surprise that the Ancient One would be back in Doctor Strange 2. We did see her in Avengers Endgame even after her death. So no big surprise there. And last year, Roger actually tweeted about the Thunderbolts being a trilogy coming to the MCU. He tweeted, Don't worry, Marvel still has big plans for Zemo, Ghost, Justin Hammer, General Ross, and the Abomination. The leader is being discussed to return as the main villain of Thunderbolts, which is being planned as a trilogy. This is actually very interesting because one of the main complaints from Marvel fans is that the MCU sort of just kills off its really good villains. And I think a lot of people were very disappointed with Captain America's Civil War where Zemo kind of just got captured at the end. In the comics, Zemo actually forms the Thunderbolts with the intentions of getting back at Captain America. They were originally known as the Masters of Evil, but disguised themselves as superheroes. They actually do really good work as superheroes, and most of them stay superheroes. But of course, Baron Zemo turns on them and they all go against him. So the Thunderbolts could be an awesome trilogy coming to the MCU. So let me know what you think about these Phase 4 leaks for the MCU. Like I said, Roger Wardell leaked many things about Avengers Endgame that were 100% accurate and correct. So let me know what you think about these. And don't forget about my giveaway. I'm going to be picking three winners at the 400,000 subscriber mark. Each winner will choose one item that they want from the Marvel Legends series collection. There will be multiple ways to enter for multiple chances to win that I will introduce in the next few days. But of course, you have to be subscribed to my channel to enter the giveaway. And of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on everything relating to Marvel. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Congratulations to your desperation To save the universe you killed half of its population Yeah you did it very nice and all it took You said it cost you everything while crying like a baby Now you're at number